Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are in the Beach Cities training yard of San Diego Gas and Electric and we will be watching the assembly of a composite fiberglass distribution pole. Now our participating utility is San Diego Gas and Electric and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonnell. Now as we scan down the poles in the training yard here you see what's called a pole butt that's already installed in the ground and one section of the composite fiberglass distribution pole that will be installed. And this is a live training session at San Diego Gas and Electric so you see some of the other linemen bringing in another section of this composite pole. You also see our trainer Eddie who is wearing a GoPro camera that will give you some of the sights and sounds as he's performing this training session. Now the first step is to place and then strap in place this cage that goes on the pole butt and that is going to hold a pole gin that we're going to put together in order to bring the sections of the composite pole into place. See the strap in this cage. Now if they are in the field and there's an existing or standing pole they can also rig off of that but in this case, for training purposes, we are going to show the use of a pole gin to put this pole together. And here, in fact, is the assembly of that pole gin seen from the GoPro camera that Eddie is wearing. Put that together, and they'll put a hook on the end and attach some lines, and they'll be using that to lift the segments of this composite pole. Now, let's listen to Eddie for a bit. This thing barely fits through there. you got to get it at the right angle. I got lucky that time. So it's three guys flying pole raise. It's heavy. So that pole gin then gets set in place inside this cage and the cage is clamped shut and then attach some lines and rigging. We're looking up the pole gin now, fully rigged and ready to go. Now it's time to uh, lift the composite pole sections. These are fiberglass uh, poles, lifting one at a time using that uh, rigging they've devised. See, Eddie's got a, what's called a tag line on it to help guide it into place. And here it is being set down into place on that pole butt. And as we watch them guide that second section of the composite pole into place, I'm going to turn it over to Eddie again for a few more comments. It's heavy. Go slow. On my next section, I would be to get my steps in, get this up there, hang it back up on the lip. It's all ready to go. It can't come off the pole. Rig to the inside, all the way down to the uh, rigging nut right here on the inside of the gym. Unstrap the gin, take it off, take it up where you need to go, next section. So now we will see the process Eddie just described, starting with the lineman going up the pole, putting steps in to climb up to the top of the existing pole, the second section. And you see them now raising that cage, and that will be used to raise the pole gin up higher to install the next section of the pole. And as he receives that cage at the top of the pole, remember how it clipped right in, and then strap it in with the two orange straps to hold it in place. And now we can lift the pole gin into place, and you'll see another lineman come up on the pole. This can be done with one person on the pole, but it's faster and more efficient to do it with two. So you'll help get that pole gin into place and securely fastened. And now looking up to the top of the pole gin, and we'll go back to the ground and watch as they start to lift the next section of this composite pole into place using the rigging. And now we can look back up on the pole and see as this third section is brought up into place. And that will be set on this section one, the pole butt, and section two. As we saw the first two put together, the total height of this pole will be 45 feet when it's done. 
And you can see this final segment get set into place as part of a team effort between the guy up on the pole guiding it by hand and the riggers on the ground letting it down into place. And since this is a training video, we're also going to show the disassembly of this pole if that needs to take place because the pole needs to be removed or changed out. I do not need to narrate that. That's just a reversal of what we've seen before. So since this part needs no narration while we're watching it, let's listen to Eddie, our trainer from San Diego Gas and Electric on this video, as to the uses and advantages of these composite fiberglass distribution poles. What we saw was the installation of a multi-piece fiberglass pole for hard to reach areas. A lot of places, fiberglass works in swamp and it works in the backyards, these sectional ones. You can't get a crane. Some, some poles are 500 feet from the, uh, from the road. The lot lines are really tight. There's no, nowhere to work inside. So these are ideal. And with that, you have now seen our TND How video on a composite pole assembly. Our participating utility was San Diego Gas and Electric, and this video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you for watching.